difference. So what difference would it make if I was a couch potato versus someone who exercised every day? And they have shown conclusively that the chronic lifetime exercisers are at much lesser risk of developing cancer in their lifetime. Uh, so they have an increased immunity, so-called, to cancer. It can also improve your stress tolerance. So it, whenever we exercise, our level of heart rate goes down, our levels of stress generally can be kept in somewhat in control. And so exercise improves that stress tolerance level as well. It can prevent weight gain and obesity, and so many cancers are hormone-dependent cancers, and the fat is what stores these hormones by and large. And so by reducing the amount of fat generally in either our viscera or in our bodies in general, you're storing less, therefore, of the, um, uh, of, of the fat and obesity that might be pro-inflammatory. It prevents fat increases in the hormone-dependent cancer. So many patients develop greater weight, gain weight when they have cancer, and that stops it. And it increases colorectal health. Um, so uh, in general, if we're exercising, our bowel movements and our, our transit time from the time that we eat to the time that we, um, that we have a bowel movement is improved. It's generally a shorter time. So the shorter that time, the generally the better, the more health your bowel is in itself.